Hello Magical Sparks! Welcome back to my channel, it's Sparkle here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys 5 ways to fill your sketchbook and all these ideas are going to be really simple, pretty and aesthetic so make sure to watch the entire video for maximum inspiration. So without any more further ado, the very first idea is one that I like to call creative color creation. So there are two ways to go about this. The very first way is to pick out any kind of marker set or colored pencil set and just pick out a random color, just like have your eyes closed and pick out a random color or the second way is to hop onto google or find an art supply set where the colors have kind of names to them for example this one it says bud green and pick out a color from there now i am aware that a lot of you guys probably won't have art supplies like these so i went with the first idea just to demonstrate what i mean the next step is to go ahead and swatch your art supply and then write down the very first word that comes to your mind honestly i kind of wish that i wrote down the word honey because that would have given me so many creative ideas but for some reason i thought of cheese <laughs> so crazy <laughs> well in my defense prior to filming this video i did watch a couple of episodes of tom and jerry and i guess that kind of like brought back memories of like jerry chasing after the cheese and everything and that, i guess that kind of like subconsciously inspired me but anyways back to the idea <laughs> now in all honesty it really just does not matter how you picked the color like whether you used google or picked it from an art supply set markers pencils paints it does not matter in the end the main point is you have a color and from that color you had an idea it doesn't matter how wild your idea is if for example you got the same yellow tone as me and you thought of like gold or like a genie's lamp or something it doesn't matter what you're going to do now is you're going to take that word and turn that one word or two words or whatever you're going to turn the idea <laughs> into like a complete illustration now me for instance i thought of the word cheese and i guess one of the things i could have done is i could have like drawn a mouse with cheese or i could have like drawn jerry mouse specifically with cheese it sounds weird to say jerry mouse i, I don't know anyways <laughs> i promise i'm like the kind of person who can just be entertained by my own thoughts for like 24 hours for seven days the things i think about are crazy anyway Anyways, back to this I decided to kind of like take a different route and as you can tell I'm kind of designing a character here but this character doesn't really have a lot of elements of cheese except for the side bag but let me kind of explain what's going on okay so like I said my thought process is kind of like weird and funny and hard to explain but I love it so let me just kind of like try to unpack what I was thinking about as I made this drawing so I got the color yellow, like an orangish, kind of like marigold yellow color. And because I was watching Tom and Jerry Tales earlier that day, I just kind of subconsciously thought of the word cheese as the very first word that came to my mind. And then I kind of imagined how cheese looks when it's drawn in like cartoons with like a one triangular yellow block with like some dark yellow circles in them. And then I tried to replicate that pattern as my character's sweater. So that's pretty much what's going on. And as you can see, this idea is pretty far from the idea, from the concept of like cheese. But you know what? In the end, you're going to be filling your sketchbook. You're going to be having fun and you're going to be making an illustration. So like, what's the harm? <laughs> now there ain't no loss, there ain't no foul, and there ain't no waste of time here. So might as well enjoy the process. But like I was saying before, I really wish that I kind of thought of the word word honey because i have so many ideas when it comes to that one word like i can design a character in a bee outfit in an outfit inspired by bees and in just like so many more ways but unfortunately i thought of the word cheese <laughs> oh well by the way let's say i had gone with my second idea and that i had done bud green i probably would have just drawn like a green character with like magical powers and like flowers and leaves shooting out from their hands I don't know but my point is this idea really really does unleash your creativity and make you think in ways that you probably would not have thought of before so i would recommend this 10 out of 10 give it a try and just see how much you'll love it also on the topic of love i tried out a different kind of shape for the background color today and i am in love with it it looks so pretty and unique and i just love it a lot anyways here we are from this one colored marker to this full drawing I love it. <laughs> Anyways, time for the next idea. And this one is one that I like to call cutie in a costume. <laughs> now, this idea is super duper simple and you just have to do three things. So listen up. The very first thing is pick an animal that you want to like kind of draw in a really, really cute style. The second thing is pick an outfit or a theme for your animal. 
And the third thing is to pick some accessories or background elements. So for example, here I picked my doggy as always because, you know, we love Mr. Jun. And then the theme that I picked was formal wear. So I kind of like put him in like this suit kind of thing. And then for the background elements, I decided to have like a drink, some dog bones, a bow, and just a couple of like little tennis balls and stuff. And that's pretty much it. So you have your concept, your animal, and your little background elements. And now you can just go ahead, sketch, do the line art, and start coloring. <laughs> One of the main reasons for why I really, really love this idea is because drawing cute things is just like so nice i feel like it just i don't even know if this is true but like i feel like it just releases this dopamine in my brain because like it's so adorable and it's just so satisfying to know that you created something so cute and you just like you know created it with your own hands such a satisfying feeling and another thing that i love is that for me personally i'm not really that good when it comes to proportions and drawing anatomy especially for dogs so the one good thing well not the one good thing but the main good thing that i like about drawing cute drawings like these is that the anatomy really doesn't matter because you can make the head humongous you can make the eyes humongous and nobody's going to care because you can just say it is a stylistic choice because it is a stylistic choice and that's just something i love about but it seriously though i have so many memories of me as a beginner just wanting to quit drawing because of that pressure i felt when it came to anatomy and how i I really just hated my drawings because they didn't look like proportionately correct and anatomically correct which is something i really really hated but when it comes to chibi drawings not all chibi drawings but for me animal chibi drawings i just have a lot more freedom so that's just you know something I in love. addition to the fact that shading is also super easy because as you can tell for the hat and the suit i pretty much used three colors and it turned out looking fabulous and very shiny and very formal <laughs> honestly i have no problem just going on and on and on and listing all the benefits of this idea but honestly come on guys just give it a try and you'll find out how much you love it once you try it out for yourself by the way, thank you guys so, so much. My goal for this year was to reach 75,000 subscribers. But guess what? We've already crossed 85,000. So you guys are so amazing. And thank you guys so much for that. But seriously though, June looks like a businessman here. And I'm loving it. <laughs> Anyways, the third idea is one that I like to call elegant unpredictability. Now, you know what really, really, really annoys me about this idea? I'll tell you what. It really annoys me that me... As a person, I used to do this all the time, but recently, particularly this year, I always forget about this idea whenever I'm bored or just don't have time to draw because this idea is so quick, so beautiful, so like fast to do, but I still somehow end up forgetting about it and I really hate that about myself and I really hate how I just I can't seem to remember about this idea, but don't worry guys, I'm here to remind you. This idea is so obvious and so simple, but sometimes we just need a reminder to try it out. <laughs> so there's really nothing to it. All you have to do is go ahead and grab your set of watercolors or acrylic paints or whatever and just kind of dab them around on your paper in a really kind of messy circular kind of shape. <laughs> now personally, I love to use the wet on wet effect for this and to mix up a bunch of colors like yellow, orange and pink with like a pinkish purplish color. But the thing is, this sketchbook kind of like sucks in the paper very very quickly and because of its like high absorbency i really wasn't able to get that perfect wet on wet effect but that's okay now it just looks a little bit more messy and a bit more loose and we'll stick with that and now once your watercolor is dry go ahead and write something on top you can either write like song lyrics you can write one word you can write your name or just a quote and for me i decided to go ahead and write this really really simple quote that said time to sparkle and that's pretty much it. Super duper easy and calligraphy is actually lots of fun. If you haven't already, make sure to try it out and you'll end up with something looking really nice. <laughs> now this fourth idea is super duper fun. It's really hard to mess up on this idea. And guess what? All you need are school supplies and specifically all you need is one pencil and a couple of highlighters or a couple of colored pencils or pretty much just something to add some pops of color. All right, so here's what you have to do. The very first thing is to go ahead and sketch out a face and then go ahead and kind of like leave space for a flower crown on top of the head or you know wherever you want to place it and then draw in the character's hair by the way you don't have to draw like a human for this idea you can also just kind of go ahead and draw like an animal or like i don't know like a plant with a flower crown if that's something you're into which
which I don't know if you are. But my point is you have a lot of creative freedom when it comes to this and with how you design your character, how you want their hair to look, outfit to look, all of that. But let me tell you where the fun part comes in that kind of makes this drawing stand out from other basic pencil sketches. The fun part is that once you're done with your basic sketch, go ahead and lighten everything, then add some details to the face or other parts if you want to. And now comes the fun part. Grab out your highlighters or colored pencils and make a mess as you color in the flower crown. Now, when you go ahead and add colors, don't kind of go in with like some kind of set idea. Just kind of go ahead and add like blobs of color everywhere and see what you can create because trust me, the final results are going to be super pretty and super colorful. Now, kind of like what we did with the previous idea, what you want to aim for for this idea as well is to just go ahead and make the flower crown really loose and not really that set because the pencil sketch is going to be pretty defined. So that way what you have is like a really, really loose, colorful flower crown contrasting against this really kind of refined, defined pencil sketch and you know that just creates a really nice look and for this drawing i decided to go ahead and draw some kind of luscious curly wavyish kind of hair and by the way i've got two tutorials up on my channel i've got one specifically on how i draw curly hair and another one on how i draw different types of hair if you'd like to check that out and now here are some different camera angles so let's just enjoy that for a second and also one of my favorite things about this idea which you know there are a lot of favorite things i have about this idea but one of my favorite things about this idea is that this is just like one of those drawing ideas that you can make on the go with minimal art supplies like i can go to school and make this idea happen or people can do this at work you can do this when you're bored or something or even when you just have like a pen and maybe just one highlighter or something it's just really great it's really quick really simple and you don't really have to overthink it as well in all ways it's a very therapeutic fun nice idea now this is pretty much what i ended up with and i was gonna leave it there but then well smart me decided to go ahead and try something a little bit different because i wanted to kind of connect this page to the page next to it and i kind of added a background i don't know if i love it after this point but i don't really hate it at the same time so if it's not a loss we might as well consider it as a win now the fifth idea is one that i like to call emoji mer person now i've kind of done this in the past but a little bit differently so last year i made these drawings and i have videos of them on my channel as well where i turned two different emojis into mermaids and now today i'm going to be drawing my oc blossom who is kind of inspired by these three emojis and here's kind of how she looks by the way and now for this idea it is super duper simple now let me kind of explain what you have to do the very first step is to go ahead and pick either one emoji or pick three emojis right the second step is to go ahead and decide do you want to take the color palette of these emojis or emoji and turn that into a drawing or do you want to take the concept of these emojis and turn that into a drawing or take both the concept and the color palette. Now me, for example, I kind of went with the three flower emojis and I decided to take the concept, that being like a floral theme, as well as the color palette being like pink, red, and like a dark pink, and turn that into a drawing, which coincidentally happened to be my OC Blossom Y designed last year. And now once you've decided what elements and what emojis are going to inspire your drawing, go ahead and design a mer person. Design a mermaid, a merman, a mer person, whatever you want a animal like a sea creature literally whatever you want but the reason why i said design a mer person instead of design a character is because you get so much more creative freedom when it comes to mer people i mean if you take a moment to think about it you'll realize like the very first thing is that the hair can be flowing in any direction you want and it won't look weird the second thing is you don't have to worry about anatomy and drawing legs and knees and feet because the fin and the bottom part of the mermaid or mer person can bend in any way you want it to bend and it won't look as weird as it would if you did the same thing with human legs which let's try not to imagine that it's going to be really weird <laughs> and thirdly you get so much space to kind of like implement your creative ideas with the bottom of the tail like the mermaid tail like all this space here is just for you to customize you can like do anything you want connect it to your emoji connect it to the color palette and in simple you can just let go of so many barriers that might limit your creativity like clothes gravity all that kind of boring stuff and yeah you can just create something amazing so that's why i said that also let's say for example that you picked a 
birthday cake emoji. Maybe you could take the color palette of the cake to design your mirror person or you could take the elements of it like the white um, icing, the candle, the flames and kind of like take that to design your mirror person. Either way, like I said before, this idea definitely does test your creativity but it also helps you to be more creative because you have less limits when it comes to mirror people. And yeah, it's just a really great idea. And who knows, you might even end up creating your own original character like I kind of did. <laughs> Also, I love how the line art turned out for this drawing. It's kind of got like that messy kind of look, but it's also got that kind of like broken, separated line art look, which I'm absolutely loving. Oh, by the way, how many of you guys watched my last video where I unboxed these washi tape stickers along with many more art supplies because these stickers were perfect for this page. Also, I would have loved to do green in the background, but I just decided to go with blue because I thought it might kind of match the page next to this page. And yeah, here's how the final drawing turned out. I kind of like it. I feel like I could add more details, but it was the best I could do. <laughs> Anyways, guys, here are all the drawings that we made today. One, two, three, four, and five, along with just a bonus six, which I didn't make in the video, but it looks good next to this page. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you made it this far, make sure to comment this emoji down below to let me know that you watched the entire video. My sketchbook is practically done. Hopefully, I can finish those pages soon and get a sketchbook door out as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys all have a fabulous day. Stay awesome as always, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, Magical Sparks.